I'm an RV tech and I went undercover at dealerships to tell you which RVs are quality and which are overpriced lemons. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing King at Alliance Paradigm. Even if you're not in the market for this RV, you'll still get a lot out of this video because I'll be talking about how manufacturers cut corners, especially in the bathrooms, how to check for manufacturing defects on the slide out mechanism and some other fit and finish things that you should be checking. For. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I have both a free shopping course and a paid version that includes my master database of all the RVs I've graded and the grading app that I'm going to be using today to grade these RVs. First question in the app is what type of water heater is in the RV? For Alliance, they've chosen to use a suburban brand tankless water heater. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So the next question in my app is going to be about refrigerators. Not all brands of 12 volt refrigerators are equal. The most reliable one, in my opinion, would be the Norcold 12 volt refrigerator, which is why I give it a 9 out of 10 rating. Next, let's talk about the air conditioners. These have Coleman Mach air conditioners. I've had to replace a decent number of these that lost their Freon within two to three years. I'm giving them an eight out of 10 score. Next, the app is going to ask me to assess the countertops in the RV. On the kitchen, they use something called solid surface. It's very thick. It's very resilient. Paradigm has a epoxy pour covered MDF in the bath. When water gets around the caulking at the edges, it's going to make this material swell up. The next questions in the app are going to help assess the quality of the cabinet in the RV. These RVs have solid wood doors. That's the best quality that you can have. With the cabinet boxes, they all stepped it down a little bit in quality using something called lumber core. What lumber core is, the middle is just sticks or boards, and then they laminate it on either side with something. You still have some chance of water getting in here swelling this edge, but it's nowhere near as bad as if the entire board is MDF. So the next category I grade on is slide outs. For the paradigm, they're still using using the Schwintech slide mechanism. So I give them a six out of 10 rating. It's a very meh slide system, like probably avoid it, but like it's not the end of the world if you do get it. And honestly, a lot of the problems with them are how they're installed and set up at the factory. So here's a little bonus tip from a tech. If you're shopping RVs and you're looking at one that has a Schwintech, if you look at this little V-shaped roller and you can spin it with your finger, that's good. If you can't spin it with your finger, that means there might be excessive weight resting on those rollers rollers that shouldn't be there. That can be an indicator it was installed incorrectly, and I would suggest going and looking at a different unit. Part of the trick in buying a quality RV is not just finding a manufacturer that's like engineering things correctly, but making sure that the particular unit that you're looking to purchase doesn't have major defects. I highly recommend getting my shopping course. This course will empower you to know what you're looking at. So when you go to that RV show and you look at hundreds of models, you can instantly spot if it has bad plumbing or if they put cheap cash cabinets in it. And I know what you're thinking, like, don't RVs come with correct plumbing? Unfortunately, not always. So spark notes on plumbing is this flexible tubing is not designed for this type of fitting. This fitting should only be with a rigid PEX tubing. Alliance RV was plumbing their RVs incorrectly, but they got user feedback saying that this was creating leaks. Since 2021 on, all Alliance RVs are plumbed correctly. 10 out of 10 for Alliance. So the last and final category we're going to talk about here is fit and finish. <laughs> I, uh, when I stepped into the Alliance Paradigm, I was shocked. I could put my fingers between the trim of the cabinet right by the front door. I look up at the ceiling and there's a light literally falling out of the ceiling. There's other trim that's like coming apart on the entertainment center. And then I start opening cabinet drawers in the bedroom. I almost got a wood splinter in my finger. I'm like, folks, do you not know what sandpaper is? What? technician was putting drawers into this cabinet with these massive wood splinters hanging off and thinking it'll be fine was no one checking like the quality of the cabinets that day or what happened? I feel like there's this general trend with independent RV makers where when they first start, they're doing a really great job. And then things start to go downhill as they ramp up their production. I feel like Alliance may be getting to that point where they're starting to see a lot more quality control issues. For the Alliance Paradigm, solid B trailer. If the fit and finish wasn't so terrible, this would be an A grade trailer. When you're looking at $103,000 for an RV, this kind of quality control is not what I would expect. It's really not what I would even accept. Click here for other reviews of fifth wheels that I've done, or click here for a playlist of all of the RV reviews I've done.